what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back my mic is way too loud sorry about that sorry about that yes welcome back to the channel welcome back you know sometimes you just jump on and push the record button and don't check your settings you should always do that because i do multiple things with my computer <laughs> so sometimes i do have to turn my mic up sometimes especially after i stream i usually turn my mic up for streaming um so when i come to record yeah whatever you don't care let's get into it episode eight of westworld of season two was very good i loved it a lot i ranted raved about it it was great i'm ready to see more uh, and i'm glad that i'm back watching westworld man because i know that the, i know that there were people out there that was watching the show or watching my reactions that thought that i dropped the show and that is so far from the truth like you know I, I explained it already you know the things that were going on and why um i wasn't really even really watching anything on the channel really so um so yeah i was reacting to stuff in the background um for the comeback you know what i'm saying for the comeback comeback begins next month um but let's get back to it so mave I don't I don't want him to kill Maeve I really don't want him to kill Maeve um, I don't know what this next episode is going to be about um, but hopefully it's really good man hopefully that we get to the point where um, you know we get to see Dolores again we get to see you know what what's the situation that's going on with them because I didn't see them in the last episode it's been a, been a while since we've seen um, some of these characters um, Ford is the mastermind of this all. Let's just be real about it. He is the mastermind behind everything. And everybody just have to, at the end of the day, I don't know if Ford wants to be, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, a a God, <laughs> I think that's, I think in some ways, that's what he wants to ascend to being a God as in you know never dies you know what i'm saying yes his physical body has died but i think he saved his consciousness somehow and you know, now he's in bernard so now he's playing this game you know what i'm saying where where it's just like things are gonna get heated but anyways guys i know you guys are wondering why i'm not cutting up the westworld episodes and putting them on youtube that's because we're too far gone i might start doing that for season three but to close out season two for these next two episodes we're just gonna keep it the same format and then for season three if i feel like it because i'm editing so many different videos right now to be ready for you know the basically the resurgence of content for the channel and a lot of stuff that you guys can watch and all that content is going to be free as always you know what I'm saying? So what I would encourage you guys to do if you want to, you know, support the channel, um, you know, going forward and stuff like that, um, sign up for the membership, man, whether whatever tier you feel like is within your budget of supporting anyone. You know what I'm saying? I'm no different than anybody else out here that is looking for support. I'm no different. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You know, so any any amount counts, you know, towards you know um where i can go out because i'm doing this while doing other things that makes that makes me money if you guys want to see what it's like to have terabyte full time on youtube you gotta support it you gotta <laughs> you gotta put in the work man we gotta put in the work but let's do let, let's do what we gotta do okay so let's jump into the episode i'm excited we got two more episodes to go and these last two no matter how good they are I'm going to get these last two out to you guys for this season, and then we will start season three next week. All right, so appreciate you guys, and I will catch you guys for the review. Peace. Bruh, if... If Westworld is not one of the most confusing shows that I've ever watched, it's pretty close. 
like I'm talking about this is not like you know writing story in a linear or circular fashion or you know what I'm saying like it's it's to the point now where they're purposely doing these things to, to throw you off the scent of what's going on they're not they're revealing a lot at the end of seasons but then pulling back a little bit to save stuff so hoping the thing about it is this you have you really do have to stick with this show you know to really get the most of it because as i said i would say the first half of this season was not up to par it was not up to par i'm pretty sure those episodes did not do well and people was complaining about what they were doing or what was happening mind you story was still intriguing to know more but the reveals at the end kind of made a lot of things that went on before make sense you know what i mean so when it comes on to um you know j just the, the the story aspect of you know what was happening during um the situation with william right where i thought he was a host and he is that's the thing about it like he is a host like and then they pull that information back again to make me think oh he's actually real till i started to doubt what i was thinking or what was revealed and then they reveal at the end in the after credit scene that he is a host and he's being tested just like delos right that was nuts to me because i'm like are you serious his daughter has been testing him this entire time like is his daughter really a host so he didn't actually kill his kill his daughter because that's why he said he was right when he got in there he's like oh i was right but where did he go you know what i'm saying like it, it's nuts to me because it seems like none of this took place in the same at the same time like as i said the way how they structure it to be right the way how they structure it is is, is like oh i'm gonna show you this here and then i'm gonna show you seeing a flash forward i'm not gonna tell you that it's a flash forward or it's a flashback but we're just gonna put it here just to confuse the hell out of you to make you feel stupid <laughs> you know so dolores got out dolores dolores at his score so she did take a few consciousness with her or keys or whatever and I'm wondering which one she put into Dolores, rebuilt Dolores. I wonder if she actually transferred herself and put maybe, it seems like Teddy got out though, cause she did send Teddy to the new world where it, so, so basically those hosts that went through the door, they're going to be saved for eternity. So she sent them somewhere where nobody will be able to find that world ever. So basically they're over there in their world and they'll never be able to find a path back to our world so yeah cool beans on that i'm all for that mave is dead i think she's probably going to pop back up at some point maybe dolores might see that she needs her i don't know but i did not expect them to kill hale and basically this whole thing where bernard went back and structured all of this because she she he saw what happened to um he saw what happened to 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 elsie right so um oh man this it's it's crazy bro it's it's just to the point where um i'm just like you know i'm just gonna watch things play out because having theories doesn't work with this show it just doesn't it doesn't work don't try it because you, you're not it's just not gonna work i'm not going to even try to predict what's going to happen in season three because i don't know what they're going to throw at us dolores is out she's in the real world how is this going to play out you know she's one of the head of delos or whatever or now she might be the head of delos who knows and that's actually dolores actually a host so i don't know what season three is about but man oh man am i excited to watch it once i get started again i'm um, watching it again it might not come back on the channel for a couple of weeks guys so don't expect don't expect this to come back next week i'm gonna start reacting to season three next week but i'm probably not gonna post the videos yet as soon as i get them out so we're probably going, probably going to be like maybe like the first week of july i might bring it back but we'll see how things go because there's so much shows that i'm reacting to right now 
so that's why I, I said you know what let me finish up season two of Westworld and then I can take a break because I usually take breaks after seasons so let's talk about season two and you know you know how it was and how did I enjoy it so before I actually started to watch you know um, episode eight and nine and ten eventually I actually went back and kind of freshened my memory about what happened earlier in the season so I wasn't necessarily out of the loop I didn't watch all the episodes in it entirety I kind of just skipped through just to kind of remind myself of what was happening I played through some of the scenes and stuff like that just to get an idea of what was happening right so um, when I looked at it and I said a lot of this stuff makes sense now as you can see from when I was reacting I was remembering a lot of the stuff that happened earlier in the season I remember some of the speeches and stuff like that and that's because I went back and watched some of those episodes um, so season two I'm gonna give season two a eight out of ten and that's because they kind of made the beginning episodes of the season to kind of um they beat around the bush too much it kind of took me out of wanting to watch the show because you guys know after season one i was like i gotta be on westworld but then they came in and they just there was just so much that was that was going on that just didn't make sense i didn't like Dolores's character um, I didn't like what she was doing. I was like, this is so against what she was about. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden she just switched up and just became this, this anti-villain that I just wasn't convinced. I don't know. You know, I talked about the actress that was, that's playing this character, right? And how unconvincing she is as an anti-villain. You get what I'm saying? Like the things that she were doing, they did a lot better with her towards the end with these three episodes that did a lot better she did a lot a much better job especially that scene when teddy killed herself when teddy killed himself and the way how she reacted the silence like that was very well done and that's one of the things that i love about this actress she does emotional scenes very well so when she's trying to play tough it's very hard to get into her character because i don't think it fits her and it's not because of how she looks or whatever is, you know, and, and maybe that's a little bit a part of it, too, because it's like you're not convincing anybody that you're tough, lady. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Not to say that they could. I, I think even and that's what I'm saying, like Tessa Thompson. Um, And this is not biased in any way. I think that's her name, right? She, when she was Dolores, when that actor turned into Dolores, that's the actor I wanted for those anti-villain scenes with her. If we had had Tessa Thompson as that character earlier in the season playing those scenes, I think they would have went way better. And that's just my opinion. And that's how, how I feel. Because at the end, when they reveal that she killed Hale and, you know, basically became her because Bernard built her basically that was well done the way how she was talking the demeanor change the, the everything was like i felt that you know what i'm saying i really felt that so i really do have to give tessa thompson props for coming in and be like now i'm dolores bitch you know what i'm saying and doing a way better anti-villain job of portraying those really tough scenes i don't know maybe it's you know what i'm saying i don't want to really say this but i'm gonna say it anyways um, I don't know if it's because she's black and and you know what I'm saying like just that demeanor it's it's I don't want to say that you know white girls can't be intimidating because that's so far from the truth because I've seen it many times in in other shows like and even you know slim strong too like Angelina Jolie as a you know what I'm saying as a actor like I really like her demeanor in anything I watch her in when it comes on to toughness. She portrays toughness very well. So I, I like that about her. I mean, if you watch 
uh, what is it, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, uh, that was really a badass movie, one of my favorites movie to this day, it's not in my top 10 by any means, but it's one of my favorite movies to watch with her and Brad Pitt, um, and I love seeing her play, play, you know what I'm saying, like, really, t like, tough roles, not necessarily tough as in, um, acting, but tough, like, uh, playing tough, you know what I'm saying, like, I love to see her in, in, in stuff like that, so it's not that, you know, white girls can play tough. It's just that I don't think this actress does it very well. So I'm, I'm not going to make it like a, a race thing because I don't think it is. Um, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I, it came in my mind, so I had to get it out there. But as I said, eight out of 10, I'm going to give this, I think if, if, if eight, if, if eight, nine and 10 was not as good as it was, this would have been a, a five out of 10 season for me. Like, so it gained a lot of points <laughs> for these three episode one point per episode one point per episode um for the final three so i definitely definitely loved it uh and an eight out of ten is still a high score in my book you know what i'm saying like you got to do a lot right for me to give you 10 out of 10 seasons you know what i'm saying like black sales you know what i'm saying that's a 10 out of 10 show <laughs> pretty much you know what i'm saying um you know other shows that i've done on 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 the channel you know what i mean and and completed like sons of fanarchy is uh, is kind of on its way to do like nine out of ten for me um it's definitely not a 10 out of 10 we just got to see how season seven ends um to see how that turns out but in any case guys thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all man you guys don't know how how much i've wanted to come back and do these final three episodes um for a long time i was saying you know people kept asking me about westworld if i'm still going to finish it or whatever um i just wanted you guys to know i, I do apologize for it but at the same time i had a good reason for why i wasn't really watching anything at the time i thought the channel was basically going to die i thought i was going to lose my channel i thought people were going to leave the channel because they're not getting notifications from my channel but we found a solution for that and I hopefully you guys went over to terabyte reacts and gaming and subscribe and turn on notifications over there so when season three starts for westworld you'll get those notifications so you know so it's not that i wasn't enjoying the show even though i was saying you know what i'm saying how you know displeased i was with the um with the with the, the beginning episodes of the season even though i was displeased i was still intrigued into knowing what was going to happen because even episode seven when it was basically revealed that ford was back you know what i'm saying like he saved this consciousness somehow into bernard's coding so i i started to become intrigued again because those first six episodes were really slow i think there was one episode that i really enjoyed in, in out of those six there was like one you know what i'm saying that i really really enjoyed and was like oh this is what i know um westworld for like why weren't they doing this continuously you know what i'm saying so i think there was one episode so yeah man pretty cool stuff thank you guys so much leave a like on the video you already know what to do subscribe if you're new we out here you know what i'm saying if you want to watch if you're on terabyte reacts and gaming and you're watching this right now you're wondering you know where's the rest of the westworld reactions and why you're just you're seeing season two episode nine and ten and this is the first time you're watching me if you want to watch this from start i'm going to leave a link in the description for the playlist for uh, that's on the original channel where you can watch all the westworld reactions full reactions for free it's out here anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys and i will catch you guys later man peace